the connection issues aren't going to persist. And I will see if we can remake the, the lobby after this one. And going forward, you know, 30 seconds left. Obviously, no comeback with eight goals. I mean, you want to get a goal as the Wolves, even if you are lagging a little bit, have that momentum trying to go forward. But this is game one. And it's probably taken just about seven minutes to go through all these goals. As the Wolves might finally get one. Not going to happen as Drum gets it clear. I don't think the Wolves really know how to counter the Hawks at this moment. Not at the moment, no, as the Hawks have been all over them. Is, is this a 9 nothing goal? Oh, it's rolling in, but it doesn't quite get there. Uh, so, the Hawks come out swinging, but people are already saying they're too good. <laughs> um, if one of these guys is champion, I, I, I think they're too good. <laughs> um, but I believe we are going to see what happens. Waiting on a restart message here from either of the teams. They need to agree on it to remake the lobby. And Drum and Sofly just readying up immediately and waiting on Gender and Redwater here. So, 15 shots. Uh, pretty much the rule of the sky equivalent of MLD right now. Yeah, right now. As okay, eight uh, goals, not a lot of saves. Yeah, the, I mean, 15 shots on goal too, but a, a few of those did come... So we are going to remake the lobby here, so we will drop out here. I'm going to throw it over to the stat screen briefly here. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit of lag creeping in on that that game. It might have been a, a bit of an effect on, on the game. Uh, hopefully it doesn't persist any further, uh, as it, it, it appeared to be that Hunter might have been the only one, as I believe uh, Redwater was saying that over Discord he, he started staticking out, so it's possible that his, his internet actually just decided to throw up a little bit. <laughs> It's always Redwater, too. I mean, last week we had the same issues with Redwater where he lagged about halfway through game two and needed a remake. So hopefully his internet service provider says, oh, we screwed up and it'll be fixed eventually. But until then, uh, hopefully the Wolves are finding a way to fight through it and we can actually see them put up a little bit of more of a contest in game two. Yeah, just sending a message to the teams, letting them know that the lobby has been remade so they can rejoin when they are ready. So the the Hawks, just a comprehensive kind of play from, from game one there is they, they got 15 shots on net, converting, excuse me, a little bit more than half of them there with, with eight goals on 15 shots. Uh, the Wolves really not able to answer a lot there, but I, I wonder how much the lag was a problem as I believe it crept in midway through and the game was still relatively, excuse me, a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of gas going on there. I'm, not, I'm kind of wondering what that was about, but uh, <laughs> the 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 score was still within reach at that point. It was only three nothing, I think, and then it was all of a sudden four, five, and six, and and that's when they started talking about the lag there. So I, I'm hoping that's not a persistent problem, but uh, it, it'll be interesting to see as that's about as definitive of a game one as you can get. And just. The counter, the Hawks offense, is pretty much just playing patient, getting long clears. They are overcommitting to a lot of balls, but if you can't get it over top of their heads, then you're going to have a hard time because if you notice SoFly really boost hungry, he's going to be down in those corners trying to get that boost so he can stay up in the air. And if he does that, that's where the Wolves are going to fail. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just on Discord again trying to send messages to the Wolves as I haven't seen them get back in here, but I did send the message to the ginger and not uh, red water as well i believe they're just asking for the credentials it was the same thing uh, as we do have everything else everybody else in here and twitch chat is going somewhat perverted and i'm afraid to read some of the stuff um so so fly is the shooting star d3 and vice is rising star d1 probably after the adjustment, so that would be a Challenger Elite and a Challenger 3, something like that, uh, if you were going off the adjustment. Then, yeah, absolutely. you know, Gaming Bear's Prospect 2, let's not lie. Um, just to get a little bit of trolling errors. Looks like everybody is in. We're just waiting on Redwater. Hunter the Ginger is here. Uh, Redwater just messaged and... me on Discord because he, he can't get audio from from uh, Hunter. The, the comms are completely down, unfortunately. So I hope that doesn't affect them too much going forward as they are on, on separate consoles. Uh, Hunter is PlayStation and Redwater is PC. So hopefully that will not be a huge effect going forward, but it is entirely possible that it will be. Uh, a lot of stuff in Twitch chat. Don't read it. 
Um, I, I never read Twitch chat. Well, I, that's a lie. I do read Twitch chat. I'm just not paying attention. Like, <laughs> I have way too Twitch much. Twitch chat have, is a virus that has infected you. Okay. <laughs> I have well, okay. Twitch emotes are are a virus that have affected me. I just had. I have Kappa. way yeah. Cap. I have way too much stuff on the console <laughs> going on here. All right, so we should be able to get underway here in just one second. All the players are in here, and hopefully the Hawks don't run up the score again as the Wolves need to find a way to counter it with this long clear. So do you think the Wolves have a chance to bring it back without any adjustments made? I mean, obviously with the lag, it was a big handicap, but even without the lag, do they need to make adjustments or should they just try playing their game? I think they might need to, to try uh, making a couple adjustments here. Uh, sorry, I just had to message the teams as they were holding off for us, which I appreciate. It's it's always good when teams are are considerate of the casters here and and hold off on joining. Uh, but I, are, I, I, I will be I, honest, there are sometimes whenever that has annoyed me, but that's in bigger tournaments where they last for like five hours. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we get ready for kickoff here of game number two. Hawks up one nothing after an eight nil thrashing of the Wolves. Agony with the call, take it away. All right, so face-off here is going to go into the Wolves' end. No surprises. SoFly was taking that one. He's won every face-off he's taken so far, and Redwater picks up a dribble. SoFly gets beat. Nice little backflip there. Redwater has a slow dribble. Demo coming from SoFly, not able to meet Redwater. And Redwater gets uh, actually makes SoFly bump into Drum towards center here. Drum and net wide open for a shot. And there's one there. Going to be a leading goal for Ginger, first goal of the series. Well, there's a response you want if you lose game in game one eight nothing. As Drum and Soulfly collide with each other, Drum gets the right clear, but Soulfly a little bit of a rush to to go for that one. Hunter pops on that one, puts it in the net. The Wolves have the goal they wanted early, and let's hope that they can keep the lead. As we have seen the Hawks capable of, as I keep talking, misplay on uh, defense there. What a faceoff! Well, Drum goes for this one well, and Hunter goes for an awkward one. He recovers and tries the second flip, but he misses. So Drum just has to front flip and makes no mistake, puts it in the net as uh, I believe that was Redwater had gone for boost like most people would do on those kind of face stuff. But when your teammate misses, and as we said, there are no comms currently for the Wolves as Hunter is having problems with his Discord at the moment. And it leads to a face-off goal and an instant reply for the Hawks. Great center there from Redwater as well. Going to be passing that. Here's Gendra center. Going to go over to SoFly. Long clear shot on net. Going to go wide as... Looked like it might have been able to find its way in. There it is off the post, and SoFly not getting the goal. Drum going to finish. Great rebound from him. Hawks 2-1. I want to know what Gaming Bear is talking about where I blew my chance with the prospect comment, because I wasn't looking at chat. I was running the console here. Uh, Hunter kind of gets an ill-advised touch. He flicks it backwards towards the post, and SoFly puts it across. He's unlucky to not score. Drum makes no mistake at the far post. It's a weak one, but it goes over the line anyway. 2-1 Hawks. And I think I was the one that did the prospect comment, so we'll be moving on from that one. Is Jay should still have a chance. And Gender a shot, going to go wide left. SoFly sends it to the corner. And a lot of offense here for the Wolves early on, but SoFly going to keep the dribble. Back it up into his own corner. Going to probably try to beat Redwater here again. Hesitates, tries getting boost, doesn't get it. And Redwater's going to center this one to Hunter. No shot there. His drum was with it, and Hunter probably thought he had the touch. Weak center there from Hunter. This played to the corner by Drum. 3.30 left, and not a lot of offense coming from the Wolves, like, productive at least. No, they're getting a couple of touches in front of the net, but they're not really there to follow up. I think Hunter's fallen back a little bit. He's playing a little bit deeper, letting Redwater carry most of the play. The Hawks, though, they're not really able to clear the zone effectively as they've had two quick goals off of a couple good plays, but neither team really showing any kind of pressure, any kind of play. Uh, as I say that, SoFly going to pick up a dribble. And on the corner, SoFly off for that second touch. Ginger finally gets a clear and drum back. Drum the 1v1 player here. Not going to pick up a dribble, though. He's going to run this, and it's going to bounce off the wall right into Redwater. Redwater pass, and Ginger not able to get a touch as SoFly gets a clear. Sort of touched back to center into the box. Drum whiffs one. Still in front of that net. Could be a dunk here. Both the Wolves players beat and could be a run back, and SoFly actually bumped Drum a little bit into it and got him off angle there. It's going to be a pass out to SoFly. Off the bar! No one able to put it in. Clear from Redwater. Out to the wall. And the Wolves trying to get back on offense here. Redwater takes it off the wall. Drum beats him. Backflip there. Another one to put it into the corner a little bit further. And Ginger counters this one. SoFly off the wall. To the backward. Redwater run back the other way. Wolves can tie it up at two. They will. 
2-2. Kind of gapped out for a second there, missed what happened. It's a good clear from Redwater, excuse me, as the Hawks, I believe, had committed both to the same side. So Redwater just has to play it away from them and follow it up. Makes no mistake about it. Wolves have a tie game here with a lot of time still to play. Hopefully the Hawks get running on offense again. They do need this series to actually have a chance this season. Gender's going to throw one bah, top left of the bar, actually. I almost said bottom. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of the bottom of my bottle. Red water. <laughs> why did I just make that joke? Red water own goal! So far, going to get credited. I was in the middle of fail fishing in real life, as you said that, and I missed this play a bit. It's, Sofly actually just gets up and beats Hunter on the, the, the play, and uh, that's a really ill-advised touch from Redwater, as he's not reading it correctly. It's wide of the net until he touches that, and unfortunately for him, it goes straight in the net. There's a bait head dust on the bottle. All right. Other than my countryside's away, we're going to get back underway here. Game two, the Hawks are going to try to score the fourth goal, up by two, Sofly picking it up. Quick faceoff goal here as Drum wins the 50 against Redwater. Sofly off the line early. I believe Hunter was looking for boost at the midline and unfortunately not in position to make the save. As he, it would have been better suited if he had gone back for the corner one. So unfortunately for them, it's an easy goal for Sofly. It's a hard shot though as he puts it far post in the bottom corner. But the Hawks have a two-goal lead here. And shot there from the Wolves almost on the bar. Ginger recovery down by one immediate response for the Wolves here as Redwater and Hunter both kind of get underneath that. <laughs> they get a pool shot teamwork play. Hunter's the one who recovers in time is able to put that in as the Hawks are scrambling on defense. That's the goal they wanted to get back in this. A lot of time to work with to force overtime. And Wolves, if they force that overtime, they do need to pick up at least one game to try to stay at the top of the standings here, hoping on the pending results for the rest of the week. And so far, going to beat both of them here off that backward chance to finish Ginger back in time. Sends it to the wall. Drop was on that one. Run back for Gender. Picks up a small little running dribble here. And so Fly doesn't even touch that one as it makes it to the backboard. Center from Gender. Straight to Drum. Clears it out to the wall. Midline. So Fly shot off the wall. Wide left. And Gender almost gets dunked there by So Fly as he takes it to the other corner. Redwater and Gender close to each other. Sort of clumping up at this moment. Not sure why they're so close. And on the backboard now, Gender's trying to get the ball to center. He does. Redwater nowhere to be found. So Fly runs it back to the other wall. He's going to be off the wall for an air dribble. Second touch on the backboard. Great center from So Fly. Redwater up for a clear. Weak one at that. Drum there to counter and no clear from Redwater yet. Ginger gets beat off the post and 44 seconds left. Hawks not letting it get to their zone. No, they're doing a great job of hemming the Wolves in their end, but a little bit of defensive miscues here and there from both SoFly and Drum could be a potential vulnerability for an equalizer here for the Wolves. As both of them have now committed, it's a dunk at midfield. Wolves can get it downfield, but they don't get it on net first time, and that allows the Hawks to recover. And out in the box now, Ginger going for a weird touch there, and not much productive in this happening as Redwater whips on that one. Chance for the Hawks to score. He's going to beat SoFly at speed and has to get it down into the Hawks end now. Low dribble here, not time to play with the ball like this. He has to flick it or put it in. Oh, what a goal! Seconds. The Wolves score, tied at four. What a play by Redwater. Carries the dribble from halfway in, times the flick to perfection. It's a bicycle kick under the bar and in. And it ties the game at four and forces overtime for the Wolves. And they really do need this, at least let it go, but... uh. Still pending results, so we'll, we'll be in first place after this. Regardless, so far, a shot, almost an OT goal. There it is. Hawks up 2-0 in the series. Well, you want hype. There's some hype right there. As Drum and Redwater fight for it there, so far, rails it off of Drum to give Drum an assist, follows it up, taps it in off the post off his own play. Overtime is over quickly. Hawks take the game. It is a 2-0 series lead after a much more competitive, much more interesting game, too. And... The Hawks just sort of seems like they struggled a little bit there in the middle, but did come down to a nine-goal game. Uh, hopefully, we don't have another four OTs in a row. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be impressive. The, the zero-second goal from Redwater. He took a lot of time dribbling that up and a great flick. It was a backwards flip to put that in the net and something that the Wolves need to keep doing, especially with the dribbling, because the only 1v1 player the Hawks really have is Drum. I mean, SoFly is not going to be able to counter those 1v1 plays easily, so... 
they can start dribbling more and or they're just able to get past drum 